Now this fourth question, we are given this function f defined on 0 to 1 to r and it is defined as fx equals root n if x lies between 1 upon n plus 1 to 1 by n and there is another function which is defined gx and this gx is in between this integral from x square to x under root of 1 minus t upon t dt and it is less than gx and it is less than 2 root x for all x belongs to 0 to 1. Now here this gx it is a positive number and this fx since it is positive square root it is also a positive number. So both are functions fx and gx they have non-negative range. Now first we will talk about this function fx. We have defined this function fx as under root n when x lies between n plus 1 and 1 by n. Now if we take this case when x is less than 1 by n or we can write n is less than 1 by x we can write under root n is less than 1 upon under root x that is fx is less than 1 by root x and when x is greater than 1 upon n plus 1 if we rearrange we can write n is greater than equal to 1 upon x minus 1 which is 1 minus x upon x so under root n is greater than or equal to under root of 1 minus x upon x or fx is greater than or equal to under root of 1 minus x upon x. So when x belongs to 0 to 1 our function fx it is greater than or equal to under root of 1 minus x upon x and it is less than 1 upon root x. Now since both the functions they are positive functions so we can write fx into gx it should be greater than or equal to under root of 1 minus x upon x and this integral from x square to x under root of 1 minus t upon t dt and it will be less than now root x will cancel less than 2. We need this limit x tends to 0 fx gx. So we need this limit x tends to 0 fx gx. Now this limit l exists if left hand side and right side give us the same value. Right hand side it is already 2 so if we can prove this left hand limit is also 2 then using sandwich theorem or squeeze play theorem we can claim that this limit x tends to 0 fx gx it is equal to 2. So basically we have to solve this limit. So we can write this as this limit x tends to 0 and here we want to write this as this integral from x square to x under root of 1 minus t upon t dt and here we can write this as under root x upon 1 minus x and say this limit is L. Now when x tends to 0 this integral is from 0 to 0 so this is 0 and here it is 0 so it is 0 upon 0 form so we can use L'Hopital's rule this limit x tends to 0 under root of 1 minus x upon x minus and here will be 
this 1 minus x square upon x square into 2x whole divided by now this is 1 upon 2 under root x 1 minus x and here it will be this 1 minus x whole square 1 minus x minus and then plus x now this x and x will cancel and here this x square and x will also cancel so we can write this as this limit x tends to 0 here what we'll do is we'll take under root of 1 minus x upon x common so we can write 1 minus and this is 2x into 1 plus x and here it will be 1 upon 1 minus x whole square and this is under root of 1 minus x by x and then 1 by 2. Now it will cancel. If we put x as 0, we will get this limit as 2. Limit on the left hand side it is 2 and limit on the right hand side is also 2. Using sandwich theorem or squeeze play theorem we can say that this limit x tends to 0 fx into gx it is also so answer to this question is this option C.